Greetings and welcome to another episode of Recipe Wednesday. Today we are making Sam's soup from Lord of the Rings. Um, kind of. Granted, the original recipe called for rabbit. I am not going to try to cook rabbit. Chicken, I think, is close enough. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get going. Into a 375 degree onion. I. <laughs> Okay, try that again. In a 375 degree oven, I'm going to throw one onion, several cloves of garlic that I just like kind of smashed a bit, uh, some butter and some salt. Now, if you have already got like homemade broth, you can skip this step, but my broth is getting going. In here I have, this is the entire carcass of a baked chicken that I made a couple weeks ago. Always save the carcass because it makes like the best broth ever. So yeah, it's in one big lump just because I pulled it straight from the freezer. So I'm going to throw in, now that I've got it broken up a little bit, I'm gonna throw in some basil, some dried thyme, maybe about a teaspoon and some sage if I can get it to come out. That's maybe like half a teaspoon. I think that's it for now. I'll salt it later and uh, after I taste test it. So I let these cook for 15 minutes, went in and kind of like just kind of messed them up a bit, flipped them around, and then another 10 minutes after that. So 25 minutes altogether. I'm going to throw these in with my broth and actually add a little bit more water because that's uh, boiled down a lot faster than I want it to. I'll give it maybe another half an hour and then I'll get the rest of the meal going. I'm in the process of removing the bones and I'm going to strain this out and then I'll show you guys what the next step is. I'm trying to figure out how many cups of broth this is and I'm going to say it's at least three, possibly four cups. I'm going to say maybe four cups. That's what it looks kind of like to me. Anyway, next step is two egg yolks. You do not want the whole egg, you just want the yolks. The broth is on um, low, like kind of like a medium low. I want it to be hot, but I don't want it to be boiling. I'm going to temper the broth, uh, temper the eggs with the broth very slowly because otherwise the eggs will split. I like to get at least a cup maybe streamed in here. So I mean, take your time. Do not rush this step. I should have also said taste for seasoning. I tasted mine off camera, so I knew that it was just at the right spot. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to stream it back into the broth. All right, at this point, it is not thick at all. And turn the heat up just a little bit higher, not quite to medium yet. And taste test. Oh my, that tastes pretty good. Now, I'll be the first to admit, this is not my favorite kind of soup. And when I make it, I usually don't eat it. This is for two of my daughters, my middle daughter and my youngest. So they are the ones that I'm trying to please here with it. I think I'm gonna add a little more salt. My middle daughter will complain about it being sweet and this actually tastes kind of sweet to me but I mean I haven't had sugar in a long time and when I say a long time I mean like a month <laughs> but I also haven't had any keto treats either so I haven't had anything sweet in in at least a month so it tastes sweet to me hopefully it won't taste sweet to her I don't want this to cook too much longer um I could wait till it starts to thicken but the longer it cooks the more of a chance you have of the egg yolks separating and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna throw my other ingredients in now. 
This is chicken that I did not show you guys how to cook because it's just so easy. This is about two and a half chicken breasts, um, about four tablespoons of butter, salt, and then I just cooked it over high until it was done. If you are keto or carnivorous, this is the point where you would stop just after the um, chicken heats up. But since this is for the kids and not for me, I've got a couple baked potatoes that I'm going to cut up and throw in here for them. And that's actually how we'll be doing the taste testing. All right, here we go. Mm, I can't very well like photo bomb it if I'm the one that it's a video of. <laughs> I know. That's good. Did I do okay? Mm -hmm. She's like her I dad. Think, I think the chicken could be uh, browned just to add a little bit more of like the buttery flavor. Yeah. But it is a lot better than the other time you made it where the chicken was um baked. Yeah. They... It, it's so weird. Like most of the time soups is better with um baked chicken. Baked chicken, but this is like the, the exception. Yeah, so that's why I sauteed it instead of using baked chicken because she actually likes it better this way. So uh, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. What do you want to say? You want to say anything? Mm. Don't interrupt you while you're eating. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye.